Hi guys and welcome you to this week where we do today we're looking at our essential oil stalls. Now you can see this essential oil stall is much bigger than any of the normal Olympic stalls that we use. It's got this big extension here at the top. The design looks kind of the same but it is definitely bigger. Now this is a 20 liter essential oil stall. It's as far as our essential oil stalls goes, this is the second smallest. We've got the 10 liters, we've got the 20 liters, 40, 60, all the way up to 100 liters. We can get, even get bigger if you want a bigger one. Now, the essential oil stalls are very, very versatile. Yes, the intended use is the extraction of essential oils. So you put your solvent at the bottom. Now solvent, please note, in terms of essential oils, solvent doesn't necessarily mean alcohol or hexane or something like that. In terms of essential oils, water is also considered a solvent. So we put our water or our alcohol, our solvent, we put that at the bottom. Then here in the botanical chamber, we put our botanicals, lavender, rosemary, depending on what oil you want to extract. You put your vapor chamber on top, you connect it to the extension over here that goes to the condenser. And this still works pretty much the same way as a normal Olympic still. You apply heat, the vapor rises up. That vapor then either extracts oils or just pushes the oils out, what we call hydrostatic pressure, and it pushes everything through the vapor path and out it comes on the other side. The distillate that comes out there is now a combination of essential oil and what we call the hydrosol, the flavored water, rose oil versus rose water. That's the difference. So you have to take that distillate, you have to put it in a separating funnel, <coughs> and then you leave it to separate out, draining the hydrosol from the bottom, the oils at the top, or vice versa, depending on the density of the oil. And that's how you separate the oil from the hydrosol. So that's if I want to use it as an essential oil still. But let's say you want to distill alcohol as well, or maybe alcohol distillation is your primary goal. Why would you consider an essential oil still for alcohol production? Well, I'm not going to disassemble it now because it takes a while to remove these nuts. But let's say I want to make a brandy or an eau de vie type product, a flavorful product. How do I do that with this still? Well, very simple. I remove these two nuts and then I take the vapor chamber off completely. Or technically speaking, I can just flip it to the side. I don't actually have to remove it, uh, depending on whether or not I can fit this head on. I remove the extension pipe as well like so and I put my head directly on top of this and connect it to my condenser and et voila I've got a normal Olympic still I've got a normal Olympic still like any of our other Olympic stills I can run it exactly the same way and as you can see I don't even have to remove the hinge I can run it like this this will not damage the heat transfer they will not damage it it's not a problem at all I can run this as is and I've got a normal brandy still let's say I don't want to make brandy let's say I want to make something at a slightly higher percentage alcohol I want to do a, uh, a whiskey for instance or a rum that goes to a higher percentage it was distilled at a higher percentage then I leave this in I leave the uh, botanical chamber, I assemble it in this fashion, I leave the botanical chamber empty. Now, if you've already done training with us, if you've already done our C1 introduction co distil to distilling course or any of our other courses, you would know about reflux. You would know what reflux is. And a couple of factors influence reflux. The most traditional factor that influences reflux is the shape of the vapor chamber. Both height and shape influences reflux. By increasing the height of this vapor chamber, I am increasing the reflux. So by distilling through this, even though it's empty, I'm going to get a much stronger product coming out the other side, much higher percentage ABV coming out the other side because of this increased height, because of this increased reflux. So et voila, I've got a two-in-one still, actually three-in-one still. I've got essential oil still, I've got a standard Olympic still or brandy still, fruit based spirit still, and I've got a whiskey still. But wait, we're not done. As the ad, uh, ads always say, but wait, there's more. Take packing, normal copper mesh type packing, similar to this. I fill this with packing. I'm further increasing the reflux. Now, you're not going to get to vodka. You're not going to get to 90, 95%. That's not going to happen. 
but you are going to greatly increase the reflux ratio and get much stronger, much higher ABV product coming out the other side. Some people would also use marbles. I would be hesitant to fill this with marbles purely because of weight. Um, you can put some marbles in there in the rest copper packing maybe, or just take a uh, copper pipe, cut that into pieces and fill that up. Just be careful of the weight. You don't want to make it too heavy. You don't want to damage the salt. It is copper, so it is a soft metal. It can damage if you overload it. But suddenly you can now to even increase the reflux even more to get a stronger product out. So four in one. Last use for this is to go back to its original use, essential oil extraction. But now you use this section here as a ginning head. So in here, and I hope the uh, camera will see it clearly, you'll see it's already got a sieve at the bottom. So you can take your botanicals, put it in there, and run it through. So you've, it comes with a ready-made ginning section as well. So a very, very versatile store. Keep one thing in mind though, just on the ginning part, if you're using something really fine like an orris root powder or something like that, you might want to line the inside with a ginning bag as well, just to make sure that powder doesn't fall through into the bottom where it could possibly burn. But that is the essential oil still, not just for extracting essential oils and so forth, very useful still for standard distillation practices as well.